Tapare. But I'll tell you, the tablet is very light. So what it says is turn on the tablet and the button aside, side, select settings, then YLAN. So the settings is this button here. So we're going to YLAN, so it's wireless, Wi-Fi we call it here. So that's obviously, my internet is here at the top here. So I'll just put in that passcode, Victor, so I hit create. Obtaining IP address, there we go, we're connected. I take it we go back to home now, which is a circle in the middle. So choose the one from your list, right, return to the home screen and click the red launch icon in the home screen. So I take it that's this one here, it's a Chinese symbol. So we're going to that. So we then, it says, click on the login, shown at the top right for the tablet home screen. So you have you have no update later. We'll just hit update later. So we'll go login. So, and then we think we go new registration down the bottom here. Please supply the real information to obtain better service. Oh, right. So, username, I take it will just say. Uh, so we'll just put. We'll just make it in up. So I'll just call it Sandy. Let's call it Sandy Andy. Password. Dot com. Uh, we're going to select the country. So will that be United Kingdom? I'm still United at this point, so well maybe it's Great Britain. Well, no, we're not great anymore. Let's come down the list. RS. There we go, United Kingdom. Then we've got to put the capture in. So 61.9. So I think that'll do the business. I've got all my details. Let's straighten this camera up. Let me straighten the tablet up a bit. So we'll just go register. Where is my activation code? Your VCI is 12 digit serial number and 8 digit activation code on the envelope pictured. Mm. Right, I finally found it. You get a bit of paper with all the bump. So there's my VCI code there. And I take it, I must take that bit off so before I put the activation code in there. So there we go. I'll go and do that. There we go, so it says, congratulations, you have successfully completed your registration. Do you want to download the diagnostic software now? So we tick yes. We want the law at the beginning. So Austin Ford, I don't want that. that, that. We can always download these later. Chrysler Sitting David Daihatsu. Oh, that. ECU aid. Ferrari. Oh, yes, we want a Ferrari. <laughs> There's plenty of them here in Falkirk, believe me. Fiat Brazil Flyer, never heard of that. Gats, Gear Learn, GM, GM Brazil. Never heard of these things. Holden, Honda, Hyundai, we've got Hyundai. Oh, a mobilizer key. India. Injector. Mm -hmm. Isuzu, Iveco. Jack. Yayo, Jin Long, GM, Joy Long, never heard of that, Kia Land Rover, LDV, oh, Maserati, Mazda, Mitsubishi, never heard of the MVM, Nissan, Opel, Peugeot, Porsche, Proton, Never heard of that. Renault. Wish I'd never heard of Renault. Reset Break, Reset All, Reset Sass, Reset Bleed. Rover Saab. Why do we make it keep MG? SGM, Skoda, Smart, Sprinter. Oh, they're in this country now. Sang, Sangong. Subaru, Suzuki, Tata, Toyota, US Ford. Never heard of Vaz. 
Ja oli heti tää... Så so, just här. Ja, det är här. Där vi går. Jag ska göra det bästa och komma tillbaka till dig. Okej, så jag har gjort alla updates jag kan göra på den launch-tool. Så bara några av de initiala impressionerna. Så, den här VCI-tänken här. Jag har haft att ändå på många kärlekar som använder extensionen här. För att du bara använder den här biten själv. It's just a little bit too wide to get into the uh, tried it, it was okay in the BMW, but I tried it on the Vol uh, Volkswagen, uh, my son's car, it didn't get in, and it was a struggle to get in this little Vauxhall Opel as well, so that's one thing to note. Uh, the other thing was, I've just scanned this car, uh, this little Vauxhall Opel, and uh, I quite like the way it scans, although it's a wee bit slow. Uh, not as quick as uh, what's the factory tool? No, the factory tool I use on this thing. Uh, can't remember. You know when I use it through my laptop. <laughs> the name will come to me eventually. So it's not as quick as that. But what I do like about it, this thing looks for all the modules. So you can see there, right at the end. Uh, well, this maybe it doesn't show you in here. On your initial scan, because I went into fault report, it shows you every module it's tried and then it just comes up not equipped. So I like that because sometimes, you know, when your scan tool is looking for a module and maybe it's powered down or not working, this would this would uh, sniff it out as they would say rather than just skip over it, leaving you scratching your head. So I like that. The other thing I like is this facility here. See, it's, it's not got a stand. I don't like that. It's fault report. I like this. So it comes up there, and it shows everything in red, which, and it shows everything green normal. And what you can do is, you go into report, gives you all the details there, and you hit OK, and it gives you this report. So th there's, this is this wee Corsa. <laughs> I've got an MOT, but I've still never got it on the road. So it's got all the details there, and it comes up with all the faults, and everything's clear. And the good thing here, you can share it. So I'm kind of doing this, uh, let's see, so we'll save it. Go and save it, and then you can share it, and you can just send up a Gmail account, and it'll send it as a PDF. So I really like that. That's good about it. Uh, let me see. I tried it on my BMW, and I tried it on my son's Volkswagen Polo 2010. Probably not a fair comparison, but what I would say, I think the Verus, uh, definitely the Verus, is the best graphing scan tool I've got because they uh, hit. It works really well, even on older cars, so I like the graph of that. Uh, let me see, we'll, we'll go into the engine here. These graphs, the newer the car, the, the better the graphs are, but the Veris is even good on older car at graphing and saving information. So let me see, let's read the data stream. Uh, let's we'll speed it up, so we'll just go to engine, engine speed. So there we go, keep it there, so you can go into OK there. Let me see if it's got angel oil level, okay. So we'll start the car up. I want to hear this. See, I like the, it's not as fast as the Veris at updating its, uh, its values. So let me see if it's better this time. That's not so bad here now. So I'll let you see the graph in it. So the graph looks like that. It's not too bad in this one. For faster can cars, it'll be better. But there you go, it's not too bad. This is a 2008 can car, so. So, I suppose the power in this tool, if I'm being honest, compared to the Snap on Veris, the Snap on Veris is a very good tool for reading data and graphing everything, but let's be honest, lots of times through the back door it can't do very much. So that's where the where my other little scan tool that all tells quite good, it can do more than the snap-on through the back door. And I believe this can do even more. So the power in this tool will not be specifically in graphing, but it'll be to do more things. So giving you an example, I tried it on my BMW there and it could check the key status uh, in the ignition to see if it was the correct key and everything like that. So that was good. I never even had that in the hotel, I don't think. So. That's just my initial impressions of the whole thing. As I said, I would like 
they're like a stand on the back here <laughs> or a clip so but it's not a, it's not a deal breaker it's got a camera there i've never used that oh the other good thing let me see i went into diagnostic report let's see because it's android it's fairly easy to navigate oh dear let's go back to here i need to go to there back are you sure okay cancel let's go back into here diagnostics there we go it went back it was recording the thing there so take it easy okay well that's quite good we can record it we can see that later on let's see if it's sometimes when you start and stop a car it loses its communication let's see if it does it with this one see we're not actually getting an rpm there it takes a wee while sometimes to communicate back but i don't particularly 